What's up guys, Ricky here with another review on the NECA Scar Predator from AVP. Uh, so I just purchased this one off eBay, uh, a very good buyer, and uh, yeah, I want to take you through it. So this is the final piece of the Isolated Tribe. So I will be doing a clan video on that soon, so stay tuned. Um, but let's talk about this really quick. So first of all, so Scar, so this is an authentic um, Scar, by the way, this isn't a bootleg. Um, I did order a bootleg uh, just for some customization purposes. Uh, so we will do a little comparison between it two just so you can know the difference between the two. So uh, here we go. So we got some really good paint details per usual. Uh, a lot of the same as the other brothers, Chopper and Celtic. So it looks like they did a gray, dark gray with a silver dry brushed over the top. Did the same thing on the helmet. Have nice bones going on there, right? Looks like they did a brown wash over the skulls there. Cool wrist gauntlet, some cool leather tones there. Black with brown dry brushed over the top. Cool cannon. Really cool details. Very nice, very nice. And comes with those really nice long claws. Looking really good, okay, perfect. So I'm excited about this one. So let's get into the articulation. Okay, so here we go. So we have the head moves up. Whoops, that just fell off the back. Uh, moves up about this far, so not too far. Moves down a little bit. You do have little side to side, um, etc. So head movement isn't too bad. Um, you have your shoulder joints, so go up almost 90 degrees. You do have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. And you do have wrist articulation. And then you do have gauntlet articulation as well. So pretty good. So not too bad there, um, per usual from this. So you do have an ab crunch. So you got a little bit of a crunch forward and back, but not too much. And this material on the front and the back kind of get in the way, so you can't do too much. But you can get some rotation. You can get a little bit of a tilt, but not, not a whole lot of movement there. I do have legs go up almost maybe 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more. You do have double jointed knees. Unfortunately, this one's kind of stuck. Um, unfortunately, and you do have rotation on ankle rotation. And then you do have, and I think this one works on this side, you do have rotation here as well, which is nice. So overall, the articulation is pretty standard for the AVP line. So not great, but not terrible. Um, you can definitely get in some pretty decent poses um, as long as all the joints aren't stuck, but yeah, overall the articulation is great. So now let's compare real quick to the bootleg just so you can see the differences between those um, so you don't make the mistake and get a bootleg on accident. So here we go. Okay, so you, can you tell which one is the knockoff? Okay, I'll give you a second. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if you said the one on the right, you would be correct. So, um, and you can tell just by, and I said this in the Celtic video too, so all the colors tend to be brighter on the knockoff. So if you look, the yellow tones are very, very bright, um, which obviously on the standard they are not. Uh, they kind of doled it down to give it more realism. So they did gray with silver dry brush over the top. Here they did more of a black with a silver dry brush. So you could tell there's a lot of differentiation. Um, although the gauntlets on the bottom don't look too bad, but uh, you can just tell, like it's just sharper contrast between the two colors. Um, the face, I think, is where you can kind of see the biggest difference, in my opinion. I think we got a nicer face here. As you can tell here, not so much. Um, so yes, yeah, so you'll notice that. So what I said in my other video too, so your authentic ones, also if you're trying to figure it out, right, if you're ordering off eBay, if it says it's from China, odds are that it's probably a bootleg. Um, now at the bottom, if you ever see people take pictures, right, when they take pictures at the bottom, that just shows that they are from the factory. Um, now if you look at the bootleg models, they do not have that, right? They have the slots, but no wording on it. So that's one way to differentiate. So if you don't see pictures, uh, real photos of them showing the bottom, um, then you might um, ask. Because actually, so this one in particular, for instance, the seller didn't have any pictures of the bottom. And sometimes it's hard to tell on Scar, like up between the two you can tell, but it's hard to tell sometimes with the pictures. So I just messaged him and asked if he could take a picture of the bottom, and he did for me. It's no big deal, and that's how I, you know, that was the thing that really made me purchase it because then I realized it wasn't a bootleg for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's one way. Like I said, the bright colors you can tell. 
Um, also, I think the face is the biggest differentiator. Like, the helmet just does not quite look right on it. Um, and then, obviously, the hands are a little, like I said, different. Quite a bit of contrast black on the different color paint. This is more of a brown color. Um, if you flip it around, unfortunately, with the knockoffs, the blades really don't fit in the side, so I had to glue those into place. And the hook in the back is different as well. So the hook on the NECA stuff actually fits the weapons. Uh, these hooks are too big. So if you try to put like a weapon in there, it just falls. So it doesn't fit in that little slot there. Um, but overall, I mean, for a knockoff, it's, it's not terrible. Because um, I know these ones are really expensive. But you can definitely tell the difference. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, you all, just in case you're trying to purchase a loose one off eBay, obviously we don't want you to get duped and spend too much for a, a knockoff. So, um, yeah, so hopefully that helps a little bit. So now let's get into the uh, size comparison. Okay, and here's the size comparison with Scar and his two brothers from AVP and then the Elder Predator all the way to the right. Um, and if I recall, and you can quote me if I'm wrong, I know they're using the same mold here, so I understand that there may not be... Um, room for them to make different sizes, but I was pretty sure Celtic was the biggest. Um, and if you're kind of comparing the two, I mean, it looks like they're all around the same size. It looks like Scar might have a little bit of a height, a um, little bit of height just based on his mask compared to Celtic, but I'm pretty sure Celtic was the biggest in the in the group for sure. But uh, but yeah, there's all the brothers, so fits in pretty well there. Uh, you have the Elder off to the right, and obviously he stands a little bit taller, but that's because of the height of his bio mask. But like I said, they're all the same mold, but this is honestly my favorite mold of any Predator. So I hope, uh, you know, they release some more models of this. So I know we don't have any from like the Elite Clan, which I think would be really legit. Um, well, I guess we do. Sorry, we do have a Serpent Hunter Predator from the Elite Clan, which is pretty cool. But I would love to see some of the ones, other ones from, uh, you know, those old games and stuff. I think that'd be very, very cool. And you could use these molds again so they could save some money and recycle them, which is good. So uh, let's see, so we have about eight and a half inches on Scar, and that gets us to about 21 and a half centimeters, so looking pretty good there. So it fits in nicely uh, with the brothers, and like I said, loving the way it looks. Now let's do some comparison between some of the older model Predators and the new Ultimate Lost Tribe just so you have a good size comparison difference. Okay, here we go. We have Scar obviously in the middle. We have the Ultimate Elder uh, from the Lost Tribe next to him. And then all the way to the right we have Ahab Predator. And then all the way to the left we have the Big Red Predator, which is one of the originals. And you can tell there's a huge difference in size. So uh, Scar stands about maybe half a helmet taller than the Ultimate Elder, which is pretty cool. And then stands about that same distance as far as height from Ahab. And then you can tell compared to the old model body style, uh, Big Red, so like the original Jungle Hunter, Hunter etc., uh, stands quite a bit taller, almost a whole head. So definitely like three quarters of a head taller, which is pretty cool. So I know that these Predators are supposed to be some of the tallest. I think the Elite Clan, this group, um, I believe the Dark Blade Clan too are all supposed to be like larger Predators, um, standing almost like eight feet tall. So it makes sense that like he's actually taller than the Lost Tribe Predators. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because that's how they breed him. Maybe that's, you know, why they end up being larger. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I think it fits in well with the, uh, with the other ones for sure. Okay, and here's a quick comparison with regular Scar and then Unmasked Scar. Uh, I just thought I'd show those off too. So you can tell the body types are the same, uh, all the same features, all the same weapons, etc. Only difference is one comes with uh, with a mask and one does not. So uh, what NECA would have probably done now if they, re you know, if they made these now back instead of back in like 2015 or whatever, right? They would have just made one, a lot of extra weapons, and then just an extra head to kind of put on there. So unfortunately with these, if you want the unmasked version, you got to buy the whole Predator for it. Um, and it's not cheap, fortunately, but it looks good. So really digging, uh, digging the way it looks there. Okay, final thoughts on Scar from AVP. Uh, really liking it. So really digging this. I'm glad I finally got the complete set um, of the, all the brothers. Uh, like I said, it's a little expensive these days. If you're looking loose, that's what I tend to do. You can get it a little bit cheaper. Um, but really liking it. So really good paint details, really good size, really good style. I mean, Scar, as far as design, is not my favorite. I think Celtic is my favorite as far as out of the brothers' design. And overall, 
Um, feel free to drop in the comments which one's your favorite too. I know um, some people did already, but I'm curious. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Ancient Warrior. I think he's pretty cool. I love his bio mask. I think that's a pretty sweet one. Uh, the Elder obviously has a really cool bio mask as well. Temple Guard looks really cool. So there's quite a few cool ones. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not my favorite as far as design, but I think it's a really cool, uh, and it's, it's neat that they all have different bio masks and stuff too. So but yeah, overall, really happy with the purchase. Looks really good out of the package. It does have one joint that's stuck, which is unfortunate. So I'll decide if I really want to um, kind of try to get it unstuck or not. Um, you know, I don't like to force it too much because I don't want to break anything, but um, overall, I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, so thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, definitely like and subscribe. Uh, we keep getting more and more uh, subscribers, so thank you all for that. Uh, goal is to get to 2,000 now, so tell your friends. Uh, feel free to share uh, the link with people. We're just trying to see how, uh, how much I can grow this channel. So um, thank you all for tuning in. And just to let you know, we will have the Isolated Tribe coming soon. Uh, clan, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, feel free to stay tuned for the next video. Thank you all so much. Catch you later.